My name is John Lally. I'm a psychiatric nurse practitioner. I have a private practice. My older son, Timothy, died of a heroin overdose in January this year. Tim was, of course, he's my son. He was a great guy. He was well loved by our family. At the same time, he struggled with both depression and severe anxiety, and then his addiction worked its way in the, there as well. He died just a few days before his 30th birthday. Like many people that uh, struggled with heroin, he first started on pills, um, prescription pills, opiates, Oxycontin, Percocets, things like that. And, we, of course, he did it for a while before we knew about it. I saw it with Tim, that it changed him. Their sense of reasoning and judgment is totally skewed. You know, the, the, the quest to get high or to not get sick, um, it just what became more important than love or family or, or jobs or home. It's just totally overwhelming and, and people say, you know, how could he do that to his family? He couldn't see it that way. To him, it was just trying to survive each day. How do I get through today? Drug use is happening. Whether you like it or not, it's happening. Your kids are being exposed to drug use. No one's immune. Now, everybody's fooling themselves if they think it can't happen to them or can't happen to their family. We have to change that belief and make people shake them up and say, no, I thought that too. How can we get a better success rate for people? What's it going to take? Well, we have to get better about the medication-assisted treatment, things like Suboxone and Vivitrol and, and Methadone. Not everyone's crazy about those ideas. A lot of people will say they work or they don't work. But there's no one thing that works for everybody. We have to have a dozen different tools for people because every addict has a different story, has a different path to recovery. Um, and so it's nice to have a bunch of tools to figure out what's going to work for you. I would venture to say probably most overdoses are accidental. So we're trying to promote the use of Narcan in everybody's home who uses opiates on a regular basis or knows someone. These days to get to be prescribed Narcan, you don't even have to be a user of opiates. You just have to know someone, a family member, for instance, we want to have it around just in case. Let them know when they relapse, when they fall, you still love them. They're not any less in your eyes. And I think if we can help people feel better about themselves, that might be the biggest key to help them find a way to, 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 to win their struggle.